tell you right now why me and got commitment issues. I'm going to just let it out. Fuck it. This is love holiday. Let's get it on the table. This is the problem. Men and women are treated totally different from birth. From the day we take, well, from the day we breathe our first breath of air, we're treated different. Little girls come out the womb, they bring you up. Oh my God, look at the little girl. She's so precious. Look at her hair, even if you ain't got no hair. She's so pretty, even if you ain't pretty. And they wrap you up in a blanket and they pass you to your mama, because your mama's there. And she holds you, this is my little angel. Little boys, they pull you out by your calf muscle. Like a turkey, they hold you, what's up, motherfucker? You ain't gonna be shit. Here's your daddy, and they throw you. And black dads ain't always there, so you hit the wall. <laughs> you slide down, but you still sliding. Good job, good job, nigga. Step on the umbilical cord and rip it out. That's how they treat us. And from that moment, everything's different. Little boys get toys, little girls get toys, but we get totally different shit. Little boys' toys don't teach you shit. Little boys' first toy is the G.I. Joe. You take G.I. Joe, you run around, you jump on shit. He ain't had no responsibilities. Fight the Cobra Commander and other random action figures if your mama couldn't afford the whole set. And if you didn't have G.I. Joe, you had a Hot Wheels. And your Hot Wheels leading the way. You take it, drive around on shit. Ladies, this is why men are fascinated with cars. I had a Ferrari when I was fucking four. But this is where it gets interesting. Little girls get toys that teach them shit. You know what a little girl first toy is? A baby. A little baby dog. You four years old, your mama feed you, you gotta feed your baby. Your mama change you, you gotta change your baby. At fucking four, you a baby mama. At fucking four, and you in a relationship by yourself. This is some real shit. Start getting a little older, you know what a little girl next toy is? A fucking easy bake oven. Cause you gotta find a man to help you take care of your baby. Gotta learn how to cook cups off with some mud pies, some oodles and noodles, mature chow. I eat mature chow, I don't know what y'all fuck with. The mature, the mature chow, the noodles. What y'all eat? Y'all eat Ty Raymond? I don't fuck with Ty Raymond, I eat mature chow Raymond. I might be saying it, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, the mature chow. The mature chow, the good shit. You know the mature chow is the good shit because the dude on the package like this. Mature chow. <laughs> For real, man. This is where it gets crazy. Serious. This is where it gets ridiculous, though. Little girl's next toy after the Easy Bake Oven is a fucking Barbie. Now, Barbie's in a serious relationship. They got a mortgage on this little dream house. She got a, a car note on a pink Corvette. I don't know what kind of man would let you buy a pink Corvette. But, fellas, women think we fucking kid dogs. That's why they be trying to dress us and shit. You didn't want to wear that little jacket. She made you wear that shit. You didn't want to wear that fucking hat. She made you wear that shit. You don't want to. She think you a fucking kid dog. Because kids didn't have no genitalia. Say, bitch, I don't want to wear that shit. He ain't had nothing. Cause Ken wasn't no real man. He wearing turtlenecks and cargo shorts and shit. I'm serious. This is where it gets fucked up though. You know what's crazy? A lot of women are living the same life that Barbie was living. This is what y'all don't understand. Cause Ken did not have a fucking job. You ain't never seen a state worker Ken. A dope boy Ken with a white tee with Kool-Aid stains in it and some cocaine in his pocket. How many jobs did Barbie have? A fucking thousand, she was a veterinarian, a doctor, a babysitter, she was a rock star, she was on tour with Jim, and Jim is truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Oh, Jim. Okay, I don't believe you remember Jim. That's hilarious. That was my shit that came on right after Thundercats. <laughs> Tell you, man. Listen, y'all, it's a special night, man. Fellas, y'all gotta do new shit with your ladies. Stop trying, to, stop trying to make sex good. Make sex interesting, okay? For no reason at all. This is what you do. Tonight, you take a lady home, and you do some special shit for her. You get you some glow sticks, okay? This is real shit. You can find them on any random gay dude. They always got them. You got some glow sticks, but of course! I'm serious now. Y'all pay attention. You make the room dark as hell. You take the glow sticks and you crack them and you slide them in your drawers. Now your girl know every trick you got. She know this shit. She know this shit. She know all that shit. So what you do is, after the glow sticks is in your drawers, you start unbuckling your pants real slow and you pull your pants down. The light from the glow sticks will immerse from under your dick. 
and your shit gonna be like a display. You go, Tilla! That'll be my time, BTK.